One of the most remarkable aspects of the front parlor project is the recreation of the suite of furniture the Washingtons used in the room. The suite was exceptional in 18th century Virginia because of the lavish use of expensive textiles and the large amount of labor required to make them. George William and Sally Fairfax of neighboring Belvoir Plantation initially owned this suite, and after they moved back to England, George William gave the suite to Washington as a token of their friendship. Washington brought the suite back to Mount Vernon and installed it in the front parlor, necessitating a complete repainting of the space. Over the course of the last two years, Mount Vernon curators researched the proper appearance of the sofa and chairs utilizing documentary evidence and surviving 18th century chairs in England. Leroy Graves of Colonial Williamsburg recreated the chairs for the parlor utilizing the most accurate process possible. Chair makers made the frames to the specifications of the upholsterer who had already planned out the height of the upholstery and its final look. The next step is the, the application of the base layer of jute webbing. Graves first nails it to one rail and he then pulls it taut so that it will not later go slack. The next layer is the base linen. The base linen holds the horsehair stuffing in and acts as a protective layer on the bottom of the seat. Graves then attaches jute webbing strips to the sides and back of the chair. The webbing strips will guide the height of the seat stuffing and act as an outside edge. On each outside edge, Graves created a pouch of linen that he stuffs with horsehair. Today we are using a synthetic horsehair because real horsehair attracts pests. Once he has stuffed it, he tightly stitches the side rolls into the outer edging to keep them in the proper shape and define the edge of the outer upholstery. The next layer is the inner stuffing. He then applies the outer layer of linen and nails it to the chair rails. The remaining fabric layer is the show cloth, the most expensive material used in this process. Piping, as we know it today, or what would have been called welting in the 18th century, defines the outside edges of the upholstery. While welting provides nice visual edge to seams, it also made them more durable. The next step in the process is to apply quilting. Quilting is sewing that goes all the way through the top layer of fabric to the base layer and it holds the fabric and the horsehair in place. This prevents the horsehair from moving around but it also creates a nice visual effect with the dimpling in the surface of the fabric. And the last step in the recreation of these chairs is the application of solid cast brass nails or what we call today brass tacks. They add a beautiful line to the chairs, but they also add a layer of protection when the chairs bump up against the wall or the legs of pieces of furniture. Click the subscribe button below and the bell icon to get notifications for new videos about George Washington and behind the scenes work at Mount Vernon.